New York's federal building, alleged overlord of gambling, Frank Costello, arrives to face the senatorial gambling probe. Frank Erickson, convicted bookmaker, is also on hand as the spotlight falls on former Mayor O'Dwyer versus Senator Toby. And the story that is circulated down here is that you called up on the long distance telephone to get the help and that you got money. Well, it's not true. I never called anybody from New York for contributions to my campaign. Well, I'm on the road and you're not, sir. Well, I'll take the oath right now, if you'll give it, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> I hate a four-flusher. Senator Toby now turns the heat on Costello. <clears throat> Has this country come up to your anticipations? You must have in your mind some things you've done that you can speak of to your credit as an American citizen. If so, what are they? Paid my tax. <laughs> Mr. Halley questions Virginia Hill. Did you ever get any money from uh, Costello? No. And uh, did you ever uh, get any money from Maya Lansky? I never got money from any of those fellas. None of those none fellas. None of those fellas. None of, the, none none of, of these that I've been reading about or none that I knew, they never gave me anything. None of the Fichettes? No. Did I don't even speak to them. I, I mean, I met that Charlie once or twice. I don't even talk to him. You don't like him? No. <laughs> Erickson has asked a personal question. What is your business? We can't hear you, Mr. Erickson. My business? I have no business. I'm in jail. Uh, what is uh, your full name? John P. Crane. Right. John P. Crane. And uh, counsel, uh, sir? Saul Gelb. G-E-L-B. G-E-L-D? P. Did you on occasion make a uh, campaign contribution to any party in connection with any election, local, state, or national? I refuse to answer that question on the grounds that it may tend to in incriminate me. Well, I believe that the uh, uh, press carried a story which was undenied uh, that you had made a campaign contribution of $2,500 to Mr. John Cruz. Do you recall that? Uh, I refuse to answer that question on the ground that it may tend to incriminate me. Uh, I take it the witness persists in his refusal to answer. That's right. Uh, his refusal is noted on the record, and uh, we will turn to the next By question. By the way, may I say one more thing? This witness testified in the grand jury of New York County. He testified without signing a waiver of immunity. He received immunity. This committee hasn't got the power to give him immunity. And that's the reason the witness takes the position he does, because you cannot give him immunity. Uh, this committee uh, is working on information received from sources other than the grand jury. I didn't say that. I and, said uh, immunity. You can't give it to him. This committee is not concerned with his immunity or lack of it under state laws. It's no, no, federal The law. federal sovereignty is different from the state yeah. sovereignty, as you well know, Mr. Gold. Leaving behind us, any money you might have given to Mr. Cruz for any purpose whatsoever. Can you, and without any regard to any money given to Mr. Cruz, can you state to the committee whether you ever received from the funds of your union any other money during the years 1946 and 1947? I refuse to answer on the ground that it may tend to incriminate me. 
But during the year 1947, when there was no election of, for any federal office that I can think of, did you receive sums of money from the Treasury of your union? I refuse to answer on the grounds that may tend to incriminate me. Do you know Mr. James Moran? Yes, sir, I know Mr. James Moran. How long have you known him? I've known him since he was appointed the uh, first deputy fire commissioner. Now, did you, on a number of occasions in the year 1949, withdraw money from the treasury of your union? I refuse to answer on the ground that may tend to incriminate me. And did you in... Did you order the witness? I ordered the witness now to answer that question. And did you in the year 1949 turn over any sums of money to Mr. Moran? <laughs> I must refuse to answer on the grounds that may tend to incriminate me. 